Mason, I love you. Yeah, I am so happy you're back. I really thought this time something happened to you. Hello, YouTube Alonians. Mason just cashed in on one of his nine lives. I've not been blogging much since Thanksgiving because Mason was missing. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, he was hanging around a lot with us in the new house construction. So, and all of a sudden he disappeared and a cold snap came. It had been pretty warm. But uh, today, I just got a call from a animal shelter and I'm looking for my shoes because we're going to go get them. Anyway, they, uh, because of his microchip, they called me and Mason is found. He once was lost, now is found. We've heard that. I've not been blogging because I've been heartbroken since Thanksgiving. That weekend of Thanksgiving, we were working on the tongue oil to put on the ceiling boards of our new house. Mason was coming in and out because I made access where he can freely come and go because he always goes outside and he gets trapped out there. So we have pet doors where he can get in at any time in either house. In our small little apartment here during construction, our house is being built over there and uh, it's not done yet. So we're living back behind the garage here. But Mason could freely pass through a... Uh, pet door and both this garage and the new house and he came through and visited us shortly briefly and went back out to his favorite place we had found mason outside when he was a baby so he's an outdoor cat he won't have it any other way we've tried to force him to stay inside just like our cat uh, sammy from years ago if you used to watch our channel so mason went missing thanksgiving weekend we thought the coyotes got him because we, one night I woke up to uh, the coyotes out there and we've heard them several times since. It's been quite an interesting winter and there's been a lot of animals on the move because we have less snow than usual. And so we thought Mason was taken by the coyotes because there were no tracks at all. Well, we got a call today because of his microchip. Thanks to you guys way back when we adopted him from the outdoors, when we found him as a baby cat, uh, you guys talked us into getting a microchip. And so we had that done right away. And he does, this is his third time of being missing for over a month. And this time it's been two months. So we, we actually thought we were going to have to maybe have kind of a funeral for Mason. Uh, I was sure he was gone. I told my kids about that. And uh, they said he'll be back, and I, I was shaking my head. I thought this time it was done, more so than the other two. So we're going to go get Mason from a shelter 50 miles away. So there's the doggy door that we have built into the new house. And there were, we've been watching for tracks. And uh, Mason was passing freely through there and coming and visiting us in the house as we worked on things. And... Uh, our contractors saw him every day. Mason used to be shy, but he would hang out with the guys that work on our house with our contractors. But there's been no footprints. We've not seen him on security camera footage for almost two months. And then we get a call that his microchip, thanks to you guys, uh, was registered and they called my cell phone and he was found 50 miles away. So we're gonna get on the road we're getting freezing drizzle, but we're going anyway. We're gonna go get our cat. I'm so excited. We're traveling over the river and through the woods, through lake country, to go get Mason from the shelter. So all we know right now is we got a call from a shelter just a little bit ago, and uh, they said that because of a microchip, he's registered to me. And they're giving me a call, and I said, well, are you sure? Uh, well, they had to be sure because we don't give out our cell phone number to almost anybody, not even the car rental agencies. Yeah, I keep that really private. And But they called my cell phone and they, they said his name, so I know it's not a scam. They said, 
we have Mason here. So I asked right away, I said, well, where was he? How did he get so far away? Where, Where is Hackensack? That's like the name of a town in a Billy Joel uh, song. I don't even know where Hackensack is. That road's closed, so we gotta go this way. Uh, anyway. On County Six for two miles. So Mason is healthy. That's what counts. Uh, he was found in an abandoned rental property and the lady had him for a week and brought him to the shelter. And so they read his microchip and gave me a call. I am so, so happy. I have Karen driving, so I'm not blogging and driving at the same time. And uh, she's driving very well on this icy, cruddy. 10 and, two. 10 and 2, there you go. So this is a PSA for everybody to microchip your animals. Uh, I think most of, or all of my pets are microchipped. Uh, I started with Mason because of the suggestion from you guys. And uh, he was found outside, so he's an outdoor cat right from his very first day that he was born. And he insists on sneaking outside all the time. He's three, quite... Three down, six to go. Yeah, he's got six more lives to go. <laughs> he's quite the adventurer. Uh, and, you know, I, I, hear, I hear the criticism that you should keep him indoor. Well, those of you that have an outdoor cat that was born outside and you found them and adopted them and gave them a better life, you'll, you can attest to the fact that there is absolutely no way to keep that cat inside. Kate has a cat the same way. It's Gunther. And Gunther was adopted from a shelter. Gunther has a metal hip, titanium hip, because he was, before Kate adopted him, Kate's our daughter, uh, before Kate adopted Gunther, Gunter was an outdoor cat and he got himself compromised somehow and he was found with a broken pelvis. They put him back together feet, and then right put him up for adoption and now he lives with Kate and David and he still sneaks outside. There's no keeping these cats inside. If we do, then they're miserable and I don't believe in making a pet miserable. Keep them safe, yes. And that's why Mason is 50 miles away. We're gonna go through the woods and get him. More to the story. I'm Next glad you guys are coming along for the journey. That's oh, beautiful out here. It's a good day for travel, right, Karen? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd rather be doing this in the summer. We could hit some garage sales. Continue on Minnesota 87 East. <laughs> Speaking of Hackensack and Billy Joel, can anyone tell me why he refers to that town? Is he talking about Hackensack, Minnesota? A Google search says yes, but I don't believe anything I read on the internet. Maybe you guys know. This is where Mason is. I'm so excited. It's a pretty place. That's a very nice shelter. I like it. He lives in style. He's at a yeah. resort. <laughs> yeah, this is, they, they also call this a, a pet resort. It's a pet shelter and resort. <laughs> Mason headed to the resort and for Thanksgiving, my dear. Right? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mason just cashed in number three on his nine lives. Here he is. Thanks to his microchip. Thanks to you guys for suggesting that that the shelter was able to track him to me, even though he's 50 miles from home. And this is a shelter and resort, so we can say Mason went on vacation at Thanksgiving and now he's returning. Lucky he didn't go all the way down to Florida. He'd be a, one of those winter birds. What do they call those snowbirds? Fly south. I'm so happy. Again, <laughs> the third time we get our Mason back. Oh, This is your third time now. <laughs> and uh, you're going to continue e eluding us, aren't you? You're going to leave on vacation and then get returned. This time, though, he was found through his microchip. So somehow he found himself 50 miles away. I'm glad to have you back. Yes. Oh, listen to him purr. <laughs> yeah, I'm purring, too. If I could, I would. Well, I am. I'm purring because we got our Mason boy back. Seven years old and healthy. 
He's got very nice weight to him, so he's been well cared for. So someone found him and kept him and uh, took good care of him. Uh, it's amazing that he didn't sneak out from them and come back, but uh, somehow they found a way to keep him in for a while anyway. He got himself free somehow. All right, Mason, let's go for a ride. You get to go home. You don't even need a cat carrier. I'm your cat carrier. <laughs> How was the resort, buddy? <laughs> Rescue and resort. So what the shelter told us is that he was found at an address somewhere near us. They couldn't give the exact address because of privacy, but and that's understandable. But he was in a rental property and the renters left and left him behind and he was found there by the owner of the rental property and she turned him over to this shelter which is most shelters are full if you can imagine oh look at you uh yeah most shelters are full so they turned him in to probably the nearest place that they could find and i'm very thankful for that person for getting him to the care that he needs and they were able to read the microchip so microchip is a big big good deal now we're going to look for a gps tracker for this boy and it's going to cost some money and i can't afford that right now but i guess i can i mean i'm going to try M maybe uh i don't know maybe donations will help <laughs> but we're, we're trying to build a house and that's cost it. We put all of our money into that to try and avoid as much debt as we can. We don't want to be getting into debt. And so we pay off all the bills every month. We have a budget and we buy cat food and dog food. And now we got to get a tracker. Yeah, that's going to cost us some money right when we're about to finish building our house. Not that money is everything. This boy snuggles is everything. That's... That's it right there. You match my shirt really well, actually. Listen to Per. He's so happy, but I'm so happy, too. Yeah, you're a good boy. Man, you're an adventurer, huh? You came to us by being outside right from being uh, the day you were born. You were an outdoor cat. And here you are. Still being, enjoying the life of being in the house and out of the house as much as you want. <laughs> Listen to this cat purr.